what happens in this course, it's really student led. They get to tell me what they want to make and we'll make it happen. If students don't know what they want to make, then I will choose something for them that builds on their techniques. It's a diverse range of things. Uh, they can find out if they like something or not. I never force them to eat it, but I do encourage them to try new things and, and you know, really learn about their palates. My favorite thing about foods is just experimenting with ingredients and just having a lot of fun in the process. So we have foods eight, and then you move into foods nine, 10, which you take once, and then you can move into senior foods, which is foods 11, 12, and you can take it for two years. What students will learn is a lot of um, advanced techniques, like let's say they make creme brulee, but they also will learn something simple like how to put together ramen noodle bowls, which is something that they would probably, you know, want to eat when they move out. Something that's cheap, affordable, quick. So I want to teach them quick and easy, really tasty, but also advanced things that they normally wouldn't do at home. They're learning knife skills, how to bake, learning like little techniques, like even just to how to line a pan with parchment paper, that they will probably continue to use this skill till the day they die. Like, you know, just like these little hacks. So I just want to make cooking enjoyable, easy, and fun.